Hi right, everyone, this is a continuation of, uh, like I mentioned, in test 13. I would do a test on this inductor here. And that inductor there is basically <clears throat> a primary of a microwave oven transformer, uh, which is a 14 gauge uh, wire. And uh, I've taken that apart and we rewound it on this. Uh, small uh, spool here there's my fingers giving you an idea of size and uh, we've got the uh, circuit operating same frequency and everything all I adjust is duty cycle uh, to maintain always the same kind of current going into the uh, circuit and what we have now is we're down uh, 75.89 so we're at 75.9 when I finish the last uh, test. So I've let this run for a little bit to give it a chance to heat the uh, resistor, which I've got the same resistor mounted here. So this is inductive flyback that's uh, feeding this resistor here of this coil. And we're, that's it. That's the maximum amount of heat that we can get on that uh, resistor utilizing that coil. So we've got less resistance than my previous uh, spool, 10 pound spool of 14 gauge, uh, but we have less inductance. So obviously inductance and resistance is important. So if we could boost the inductance, I believe that the effect would get better at the resistor. And I don't think it stops. I think the higher the inductance, the better the effect will be. But usually when we get a higher inductance, the problem is we have a higher resistance. We want to keep resistance down to the lowest as well. So the only way to do that is to utilize a heavier and heavier gauge. But then there are again other problems you do doing that because the heavier the gauge is, the more space the, you know, the coil will take and so on and so on and well it gets kind of expensive because copper sells for somewhere around uh, uh, five to eight dollars a pound anyways i uh, thought i'd share this uh, uh, test here to show you uh, what happens uh, when there's less inductance obviously there's next to no resistance in here very very small uh, uh, you know amount of resistance probably less than half an ohm of resistance there if not less. Um, what I'm going to do though, this is for my friend uh, Michael. Uh, he's doing some tests on the possibility of the resistor being affected by the magnetic field of or the field of the coil and to possibly give out a better heat output. And what I'm going to do is insert this resistor now in the center of this coil here. And uh, same test, I won't adjust anything. And we'll see if we can uh, check, obtain a, uh, a uh, temperature increase. So hang on and I'll set that up. Okay, so here we have now the resistor is in the center of the uh, coil there, as you can see and uh, I've got it still mounted on that project board there so that it's got a nice gap uh, all around so it's not uh, there's still some free air movement in there it's not uh, tight inside the uh, coil so that resistor fits nicely in there and the results are not showing that great. Um, we had attained uh, 63 degrees Celsius and uh, prior to doing this and now we're at um, 65 so we've got 2 degrees Celsius uh, extra and that would be inconclusive because it could be just the fact that there's not as much uh, free air movement uh, happening around there and that could you know smaller space be creating some uh, some insulation 
uh, effect that uh, the heat would be rising. So I would say that's uh, inconclusive uh, to, uh, to confirm that effect. And we're sending the same amount of power and our voltage is now down to 75.887. I've been letting this run for a while. Uh, when we stopped it, it was 75.89, somewhere around that area. And, well, there you go. That's uh, what I'm getting from this uh, setup at this time. And um, maybe we'll have to do other tests with... Uh, an inductor with more inductance and it's difficult to also judge uh, like I say the space if it's not uh, restrict most likely it is restricting uh, airflow so we would get actually uh, the resistor heating a bit more anyways thought I'd uh, share that uh, for you uh, John uh, sorry John Michael and um, Michael John <laughs> and um, hope uh, to do other tests with this to see if we uh, get uh, any uh, better effects than this all right so I just had another idea and um, what I did is I left the resistor inside that coil there but I'm not using that coil I'm using the last coil that I use in test uh, number 13 and, and this is my uh, 14 gauge uh, 800 and some odd feet and we know from our test results uh, that the resistor was able to heat using that coil to 67 Celsius and the idea here is I wanted to see um, how much the insulation or restriction of air circulation had uh, on that resistor. So we had that resistor inside that coil heating to uh, 66 degrees maximum Celsius and uh, you obviously saw that at the end of the video and now Utilizing this coil, we were able to heat the resistor at 67 Celsius. And if we have uh, a boost of 3 degrees Celsius uh, when the resistor is in this coil, then we know that that 3 degrees boost is from the fact that that uh, resistor is not so well, uh, or the circulation is not as good around there, so creating an insulation. And the results uh, uh, show that that is exactly what's going on. We're at 70 degrees Celsius exactly. And before we were able to bring it, that resistor to 67 degrees Celsius using this coil, nothing has changed on that end. We're still at the exact same amount of amps. And believe me, I let this run quite a bit. We're at 75.868. All right, and uh, this has been running for probably about 10 minutes now, and it's definitely at a stable temperature, and it's exactly a three degrees uh, boost. So I would say that that three degrees boost that we had prior when it was utilizing the back uh, collapsing feel of this coil was uh, really because there's less uh, air flow around the resistor now and that would be conclusive to that test. The only other thing that I could think of is uh, utilizing a coil that has higher inductance to see if the higher inductance has an effect with the combination on the uh, resistor in close proximity of the uh, coil uh, field. So that's about all I can do for now. Well, look at that. Well, we got a <laughs> we got a 71. So I don't know. That's it's not very convincing, but that is interesting that we do have now uh, four degrees uh, difference. 